how we can fetch more than 10,000 records from a SharePoint list. This is my list test and if you look at the count, the total number of items in this list is 67,985. So how we are going to retrieve uh, this big data set from a SharePoint list. Let me show you. This is my flow. Uh, I am using very simple logic to retrieve the data from my list. So this is my first action, get items. I have provided the site address, then the list name and I am filtering uh, on ID like ID is greater than 0 and I am again sorting the retrieve data in descending order then from the uh, retrieve data I am selecting the top first element from an array by this I will get the max ID uh, from my list in the second action what I am doing here is I am selecting the ID that uh, from the previous uh, retrieved data I am filtering out the ID value then uh, I have a variable where count initially the value is 0 how I am going to use it I will show you further uh, in do until loop and this is my do until loop in do until loop what we are doing is we are comparing the variable value this variable and uh, we are using condition is greater than or equal to and we are comparing with the max id value which we retrieved from this action and we selected the id value uh, using select action and i am further on converting that just like it uh, and further on i am uh, converting that value uh, into an integer then in do until loop i am using get item section again in get items uh, provide the site address then the list name and in the filter query i am checking id greater than and the variable value in the first iteration the where count value uh, would be zero then i am again selecting the top 5000 items using get items uh, there is a limit of 5000 items uh, in a single go get item can retrieve from a SharePoint list so we are going to use the same action but uh, based on the where count uh, variable value how let me show you so the next action is select um, this is optional uh, this I am using just to demonstrate you like the first ID value from my list uh, I will show you to you know uh, just to confirm that yes exactly we are retrieving more than 5000 items so I am selecting the ID value from my previous section retrieved data set I am using compose to fetch the max value max ID value from this get items which is in the do until loop and further on I am setting this max value to our variable where count by doing this uh, it will come back in the next iteration and check for the maximum value is greater than and equal to the max value which we fetched using get items so let me show you in action like how exactly this uh, flow works so let me execute it as the data uh, set count or the number of elements in the list is very big data set it's 67,000 records so it will take some time our flow ran successfully now let me check the value max id uh, we retrieved using the first get item section is 68761 now in do until loop 
total iteration was 10 and in the get items initially it will fetch 5000 records uh, and these are the filters we used id greater than 0 and the top count 5000 records we, we are fetching in the first iteration now in the select action these are the id values let me copy and paste here So this is the max value from the first iteration and if you look at the count, the count is 5000 as expected. Now in compose max value should be 5776 here that's correct. Now in the next action we are setting up the value of our variable which is 57. 76 in the second iteration our, in the second iteration our where count value is 5776 as you can see here the max value is 5776 Now we are checking id greater than 5776 and again we are retrieving the top 5000 records but the clause here is uh, the id should be greater than 5776 using this again uh, this action will retrieve 5000 items from the list let me copy and show you let me paste it here five seven seven six and in the next iteration we are retrieving data from five seven 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 and the max id value here is one zero seven seven six again using compose we are retrieving the max id value from our get items action so the max value is 10776 10776 and again we are setting up the value of variable where count to the max id which is 10776 now in the next iteration this this value will be compared with the max id with this with this 668761 six, so again the condition is true so in the next iteration it will again retrieve 5000 items from the list where id should be greater than 10776 and again top 5000 records it will fetch from the list and using select we are extracting out the id values uh, let me again show you so as you can see here this is the starting id value 10777 and the max count here is 15776 again we are using compose to select the max id from our retrieved data set get items within the do until loop and again we are setting up the value of uh, our variable where count to max id value which is 15776 so this is how we can use do until loop to retrieve more than 10,000 records by using this simple logic please like and subscribe the channel it really motivates and thanks for watching the video see you in the next video